In this video, I'll show you how to use WiseCut's auto punch in and out feature. Now, whenever you're creating a project, there is a toggle at the start that allows you to turn it on or off when first processing your project. Now, if you've turned this on and then gone ahead and processed your project, you can head into the editor to see the results. Now, I'll play this little clip back as an example to show you what it looks like. As you can see, while he was talking, it punched the clip in a little bit to add a little more emphasis. And this is part of the magic. If you want to make your videos more dynamic and just take a static shot of somebody talking on screen and make it a little more interesting, the punch in or out feature is fantastic for this. And what it does is WiseCut uses facial recognition in order to detect the face on screen, track that and reframe the screen towards that so it can punch in or out. And if you ever want to edit this, you can go ahead and click the little face icon on the clip that has it. And you'll see right here that it's already got auto punch in and out turned on. And I can toggle whether I want to manually punch in or manually punch out on this clip specifically. So I'll select what I want to do and then hit save. And if you reprocess, it'll make those changes to this clip. And it's as simple as that. That's how you use WiseCut's auto punch in and out feature. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you haven't already, definitely check out WiseCut, the number one video AI editing tool available online today. And until next time.